Welcome back to another day of Food for the Soul by me. My name is Walter Rush. So yes, today I will be doing fried tacos. Well, that's what I call it, but it's fried taco, fried taco wraps. And it's gonna be uh, tacos stuffed in a one tongue uh, wrap and deep fried. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's good and everybody that done tried it, they love it. So I think y'all should try it too. And uh, before I start, don't forget to give me a like, subscribe, and I'm gonna wait. One, two, three. Y'all don't should hit that subscribe button by now, cause just take a second. Uh, like, subscribe, hit that bell, and leave me a comment. And we'll be on our way. So let's get ready and go! Hey, for this recipe right here, my uh, my fried tacos, taco wrap, uh, uh, egg roll taco, whatever they can be. Uh, first thing I uh, got, ground beef, my refried beans, my salt and pepper. This is the egg wash right here. And my wontons right here. So the first thing I do is I start frying, well, start cooking my ground beef. Is I start cooking my ground beef. And we all know you gotta cook the ground beef first. Okay, I'm this right here cooked. I'm gonna open up my one tongue. My uh one tongue rolls. And my refried beans came uh from a can, but what I do is I add salt pepper to it and uh seasoned salt to it, uh put a little bit of water in it, and I microwave it. So I'm going to let this cook down and I'm going to be back. Alright, so my meat is almost done. It's just cooking. And what I'm going to be using is taco seasoning right here. Kroger brand is the cheapest for me. So I just stick, hey, stick right with what I like. And you have to drain your taco meat. I mean your ground beef. You have to drain all the all the fat, the grease out of it. Make sure it's chopped up uh, real good. All right, so let me drain this. Drain this and I'll be back and put my taco season in it. In it, uh, let it render down and I'll start uh, putting together my wraps. So I'm gonna add one pack and a half of taco seasoning to this herb. So, uh, I know the recipe says for the pack is uh, one pack for a pound, but I always add see a little more extra uh, seasoning to it. Okay, 
So I'm about to add some water. And I just made a mess. That's all right. That's why they got tiles to clean up. All right. Add some water to it. Mix it up and just let it uh, render down. And while this is rendering down, I'm going to also add some uh, nice tomatoes to it too. So I already got my diced tomatoes ready. They already diced up. I did before the video. <laughs> I prepared myself. I prepared. Not no, not no prepared. I prepared myself. So I just mix my tomatoes up with it. And to be honest, uh, I just really started eating tomatoes again. For some reason, like for years and stuff, I just didn't like tomatoes. But now, like, I guess as I get older, I'm starting to eat tomatoes and peppers and all that again. But the onions. That's weird. But I'm not going to complain. So I'm going to let this render down right here. It's going to take about five minutes, and when I get back, I will be ready to do my wraps. My ground beef done rendered down, and uh, with this meal, so I'm also having my uh, honey buffalo wings, and I do have a video on this. It should be popping up right about now for a link. Yeah, right there. Uh-huh. So, uh, go there and my recipe to my wings will be on that. But I'm about to start putting my wraps together. See, okay, it's time for this assembly part. I'm going to do two of them. All right, first thing I do is I lay it down. But I point one of these edges like uh, towards me. So I get my egg wash right here. Some people use a flour wash, uh, like a different stuff to do it. But I do an egg wash and I do all my four corners like that. And I get, secondly, Get a little bit of beans there. Get my ground beef, my taco meat. And try not to pack it too much because it will break on you. All right, then I get my cheese. I put my cheese there. And the tricky part, see about this, is uh, trying to fold it right. So what I do is I fold both corners together, press down, but on each edge like that. And I take this and I try to bring it all together, make it, uh, making it uh, look like an envelope. So I just try to squish it in all together the same time rolling. There we go. Perfectly done. So uh, let me do one more. Uh, 
just to show you. But you can add whatever you want to add to it. You can see, uh, like your tacos and stuff. Uh, my lettuce is going to be on the side. Um, but if you want to mix in your lettuce with it, you can. more and me some more cheese to this bad boy then again take this corner folded take that corner folded press both sides down and you take this just like an envelope and you just try to bring in like everything. All right, there we go. Uh, not as good as the first one, but it still works. So uh, let me finish up the rest of them. And I'll be back to fry them. All right. So I got my wraps all done. So I got eight of them. And I'm about to start frying them. And some people have deep fryers to do it. I don't have a deep fryer. No, no more. So I'm just going to dip it in this grease right here. So I did my eight of them total. I'm gonna let that fry. And for these right here, this is not a uh, a deep fryer. I am gonna have to flip it. To the thing too about this is uh, when you cook it, try not to cook it too much in a grease because once you pull it out, it's still gonna be cooking. So it really don't take any time for these wonton uh, tacos to get done. See, okay, about to take them out, which they didn't take any time, about a good, uh, I say like two minutes. here they don't have beans in them because my daughter she don't like beans with it so this is just uh, meat and cheese so I'm gonna let that cook and show you the finished product So this is my finished product of my taco wontons, my taco egg rolls, my fried taco, whatever. 
you want to call them. But they're real good. So you should try them. Uh, thank you for watching my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that button, that bell. So I'll see you next week on Food for the Soul. And I'm about to plate it up and show you the finished product. So this is the finished product with the plate all set up, minus the wings. The wings will be on there. But I'm just showing off my uh, my fried taco wontons. I got queso cheese on it too.